Where's Ron's office again? That blacked out went down there because he's gone. Oh, oh. I'm not gone. I was, I'm waiting. And we're live. Oh. Hello. Fancy, fancy. Fancy, fancy. Hey, do you still fancy, have the uh, do you still have the fireplace one, Justin? Oh, uh, you mean the campfire? Yeah, I believe. Yeah. So. Hmm. Why do you you want to go back to the campfire? Yeah, someone was requesting it. Someone actually mentioned that they missed the old campfire. <laughs> I want right. the beach, just the regular beach with waves. Daxton eight oh eight wants to know who we are. More importantly, Daxton, who are you? He needs to worry about who's in his backyard. <laughs> All right. Let's get these formalities out of the way, shall we? Hey, everybody. Welcome to Reaper Live, the show where we blend painting, gaming, and geek culture all together for your viewing pleasure. Man, we got to change that. That's just so so not accurate anymore. Uh, I mean, you're the only one that says it. <laughs> yeah. I, well, I, what, what, I was going to sit around like this, dude. So we got to say something. Well, because we're waiting on you. We're waiting well, on you. Waiting. You're the one. Talk, talk, talk. Okay. I quit. I quit. Let's, I'm out of here. <laughs> All right. Uh, there's Reaper Live, oh, folks. Should have learned, yeah. learned my lesson. Bingo. Stayed away. Um, <laughs> anyway, so uh, thanks for uh, for uh, joining us on this Thursday night. We appreciate you spending time, uh, you know, the next hour, kibitzing with us about all things Reaper and, and whatever that entails. I'm joined by uh, Ed Pugh, Mercedes Reagan, David Pugh, uh, John Overton. Uh, say hello, everybody. Hello. Hello, everybody. John, your quality is uh, is awful tonight. What's going on? Yeah, I mean, at least my voice my voice still sounds good. I'm going to look like a potato all night, but that's okay. Okay. <laughs> so, Justin, so, uh, what was it? Uh, hold on a second, Ron. Other sure. people can talk. Uh, no, David, no, Al I Alvarelano of Darnius is the one asking for the campfire, Justin. I can do that for her. Okay. Can you do the oh, beach for me? We'll see. Well, just a regular beach. <laughs> can I can I put a campfire on a beach for you? No. What about oh. a lighthouse? How about a lighthouse? How about a lighthouse and a campfire on a beach? Oh yeah, lighthouse, Ooh. campfire, and beach with the Milky Way in the just background. A, a big plane wreck going into the side of a mountain for me. That's, <laughs> and over. That's exactly appropriate for what we what we got. Great. Um, so the first topic, Ron, you want to <laughs> segue us into the actual show? <laughs> I guess so. Uh, yeah, so uh, we're going to do what we normally do every week. We'll just sort of, like I said, go around the horn, see what everyone's been up to. I think most of us kind of know what's been going on, but <laughs> we'll go around the horn real quick just to see uh, what everyone's been doing and get a quick update. Ed, what's new with you this week? I have an airbrush update. Ah, that's probably the biggie. Uh, let's see. And past that, been very busy. It's like the old that saying, whatever it is, the uh, – busier than a one-legged man in an ass-kicking contest or something. So mm -hmm. uh, we get that, but we got a lot. Oh, we got in uh, the, the inserts for the uh, cases, the plastic inserts. We showed that on a show several episodes back. So those will start when I'm finding their way in. Um, just a lot of stuff, but that's the, probably the biggest is the airbrush update. So okay. go ahead, Sadie. Um, also super busy trying to get out our normal paints and also the ReaperCon paints. We were a little ambitious um, with everything we're going to get out, but we're going to get it out and we're super excited um, and sad. I've triggered Ed by doing so much, but he's going to make Doesn't it. Take much. Doesn't take much. Um, and, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I'm about to go out of town. I'm going to ride with my mom, my stepdad for 10 hours in the back seat like a child. It's going to be lovely. Mm. Are you just going to so circle the Metroplex, or what are you doing? No, we're going to Nebraska, which is where our family's from, southern Nebraska. So my people are going to be alone, and uh, I don't know. I might have a cell reception. I might not. Unmonitored. Unmonitored. Mm. Scary, scary. All right, Dave? I told him to just go for it. Well... Uh, I haven't done shit all week. I've been basically Good, hanging Last out week. in my office, drinking Good Diet Dr. You. Pepper, smoking cigarettes, going, I wonder if I should call Ron on the intercom. Maybe I should bother Ed. 
That's good. Long line. You should do that more often. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep making deposits, Dave. You do whatever you want to do. Um, <laughs> John, on to you, John. Uh, not much. We did a bunch of stuff on the, the socials this week. A lot of cool stuff happening. Uh, I have a contest that I'm working on that will probably go live sometime next week. Uh, tomorrow or tonight is the last night you can submit your paint club stuff, your paint contest, your quarterly paint contest over on the Facebook page. Um, we'll probably be looking at those sometime tomorrow on Reaper land as well. So get those in. That's the last night. There's a bunch of other stuff, but we'll, we'll save it up. Okay. All right. Well, uh, I guess the big news of this week is. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What have you uh, done this week? Nothing. Uh, <laughs> That yeah. was already used. You got to come up with your own. Yeah. Oh, um, I guess work on Reaper stuff. I guess work on Reaper Con stuff. That's kind of boring, but that's what that's everybody what missed doing. while we were while we were running late is that Ron was was lecturing everybody. He's become very chatty <laughs> since he took a week off. <laughs> it's not true. It's not true. Uh, I was just reading something as all I was doing. I wasn't chatty. I'm just reading something. Um, yeah, so uh, the big news of the week is we finally uh, got uh, a big part of ReaperCon launched with our swag box, our Brian Wynn box, and our hobby box, and the big mega bundle over on the Reaper store. Uh, so if you go to ReaperLive.com, and on the far right side, you're going to see a button that says Store, that right? And click on that, and yes, that's going to take right. you to the, the page where you can buy all these cool things. And um, there you go. Justin's going to click on it right there, Store. There you go. There's the store. Click on that's going to take you to the uh, ReaperCon live store. And you're going to see all the different boxes that you can purchase for ReaperCon. So you got the swag box, the hobby box, the Brian Wynn box, and then the big mega bundle. Go down a little bit, Justin, please. Uh, the big thing to remember here at the very bottom, please note, these, are, these items are pre-order only and are scheduled to ship in August 2020. Right now, pre-orders are only available in the United States and Canada. So... Uh, rest of the world, if you're watching, uh, we're we've got your backs. We're working on this. Kids working on it to get this figured out, um, and we should have pre-orders available for you guys pretty soon. Uh, we do not know the specific t date that we're going to be shipping. We're going to ship as soon as possible. We're saying, we say August. We had actually targeted July, but we're going to go and just be safe to say early August. But when we do start shipping, you guys will absolutely know. We'll be chatting all about it. Um, and so, hey, Justin, you can go back to that that uh, that screen. Go back to the store, and click on the swag box. If you do this, it'll click. It'll open up all the uh, the little pictures. And on the left side, you'll see uh, the details. Again, we put the little shipping notice. You click on any of those, Justin. You'll see there's that. Like I said, we're just trying to get kind of be clear, trying to be transparent. There's Sophie. There's the stickers. There's the paint swatches. And go down. That click on the little arrow there. Show you more pictures. Look at there, more pictures. Oh. Um, there's the Angelica Fairweather model, the Mousling, the Dungeon Dweller. This was with the hotel minis. This was going to be um, the little girl with the goose. That was going to be one of the hotel minis this year, but since uh, we canceled the uh, actual live show, we just rolled that hotel mini into the swag box. And there you see one of the, the cups, the Hellrunner's Cup, which is going to be in every swag box. Um, and there are a few other things. We've got most of it. We don't have the, the picture of the water bottle and the notebook and the pen and the, and the lanyard yet. But most everything else uh, that's going to be in the swag box is right there. If you go back, Justin, we'll look at the next box. Um, and we see the hobby box. There's not a lot we've shown in this one yet. But if you click there, you'll see, again, the pre-order notice. There are the swatches for all the MSP colors. There's the, the uh, cleaning utility pod. John, you want to tell everybody about the, uh, the cleaning utility pod? The, the the cleaning utility pod, yeah. uh, yes. A lot of people, uh, a lot of people were asking, "What is this?" Um, and me included, because I didn't get in on the on the joke as well. Um, so a lot of people were like, "What is the cleaning utility pod?" I got a lot of messages, people from yesterday. Um, it's just a cup. <laughs> it's so you don't get your. It's so you don't get your uh, your drinking water and your and your brush water mixed mixed together. Right. So. And remember, friends don't let friends drink paint water. So, <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> we did this cup a few years ago and it was a pretty popular, um, <laughs> pretty popular cup. People got a kick out of it. So we just sort of brought it back for the hobby box. So there you go. And Justin, click on this, on the hobby box swatches again. Um, those are the commemorative MSP Reaper colors. Those are the 12 that are, that have been chosen for this set. Um, 
there they are right there from Repicon 2013, uh, 2014, and some other ones I don't remember the dates of. Uh, but there's that. And if you go back again, Justin, go to the home and then go to the, let's see, look at the Brineland box. And you'll see, let's see, there's the, uh, the Julie Guthrie sculpted Treasure of Blood Reef. Uh, there's the next one, the Dead Man Tell No Tales. Those are both resin sets. Uh, let's see. There's the two pirate colors, High, sea Adventure, High Seas Adventure and High Seas Horror. Um, this piece here, the the old the Brian Munn Townsfolk, the old lady fruitmonger, she was another hotel mini. So if you stayed at the Hilton, you got one. If you stayed at a different one of the other outlying hotels, you got the other one. So we, again, we just threw them into the different boxes. There's the Drunken Mermaid Cup. Uh, this is the Signs of Mersaluth, uh, Kaiser Steadwick. We showed him a few weeks ago. There's the Bob Rodolfi Voodoo Priestess, uh, Raza Twinsight. And again, you're going to see this. There's Angelica Fairweather again. You get her in the swag box already. Every swag box gets an Angelica Fairweather. But to be complete, if you order the Brimewind box, and when you get all four crew uh, uh, iconic minis, you're going to go ahead and get uh, Angelica Fairweather too. So you could get two. If you get a Mega Bundle, you'll get two Angelica Fairweathers. And I think, are there more photos, Justin? Click the down arrow. Nope. Okay, I guess that's it. Okay. No. There you go. Okay. I got a good question. What's that? So the paints and the paint sets, are they going to be available individually or just a part of the paint sets? Not yet. No. Sorry. Okay. No. There you go. Sadie just jumps in. <laughs> definitely. That was panic. <laughs> just call that one a panic. No. No, not at all. So, uh, so only a paint. Has the, only. Okay. So only. Just like the Dungeon Dwellers, the Dungeon Dwellers were only available in the sets for, for a while. And then they became individual paints later. Uh, right now, they're only scheduled to be in the sets. So, but things can change. They do change all the time. Uh, Justin, hit the home button again. And one more picture to look at. And the Mega Bundle. There you go. The Mega Bundle is going to get you the swag box, the hobby box, and the Brian box. You get all three boxes for $279.97. Uh, the value of all these is over $370. So it's a great deal. And we're even going to throw in the little Captain Black Mini. Um, sculpted by Jason. We showed him a few weeks ago. So you'll get this just for ordering the, the, um, the Mega Bundle. Now look, no. if you just ordered a swag box or a Brian box or whatever, you can still get Captain Black separately. He's just a little gnome guy. He'll be on sale on RupertMedia.com. Uh, you'll be able to get him for sure. So don't feel like you know, you're missing out on an exclusive thing. Because we don't really do that kind of thing. Uh, we want everyone to feel like they, they're able to get everything you know, whenever they're whenever possible. So we don't like to, to do the things where you can only get X if you jump through X hoops. So um, I know Ed, you never really liked that kind of a no uh, kind of a thing. <clears throat> Not a fan of that. Yeah. So we don't we try to make everything available. You know, as a perk, if you if you want to do it, it's a perk. But if you just want to get it for free, if that's all you want is Captain Black, you'll be able to get him just like so. Okay, cool. So those are the boxes. No, you missed a box. The second box. I thought we did that. Oh, he did that one. The we center one. Oh, yeah, you just weren't paying down. attention. I just, well, I guess, I wasn't paying attention. There we go. There's a lot of photos I need to add to that one. We don't have the photos ready yet, but I'm going as fast as I can. So uh, these are pre-order items. So um, when you pay, when you go to the the Reaper store, the ReaperCon Live store, and you check out, it charges your card immediately. Even though we're not shipping until August, your card is charged right now. So just plan accordingly. If you're wondering, uh, it is a pre-order item, and we do charge your card immediately, um, and we'll. We'll ship these in August. So, does that lead um, us into our next segment? Your fact. Okay, John. It's John's fact. John compiled all this stuff, and um, we can go over that real quick if you want to. I think the big thing that people are asking um, is the top question: is what happened to the Reaper Keeper? Uh, because oh. at ReaperCon, ReaperCon 2020, our VIP bundle had. The Reaper Keeper, which was a project we had gotten into with Monument Hobbies, Creature Caster. And, um, Ed, you want to kind of go into that? What, about, I mean, it was, it was really there? simple. I mean, they're great guys to work with, and we did everything we could. Where it fell apart was in the scheduling. Um, to use the factory, to get it done, and what was really killing us was the freight. Uh, because we had, a, we had a very, very close to the chest deadline, because we're trying to do this Labor Day weekend. Theirs was more or less a restock for per, per, perpetuity. So with that, we decided to just part our ways and, and, and uh, we're going to go down our road. So to that end, um, those of you that were here last week, oh, yes, sir. 
Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Uh, now talk a little bit about uh, the um, Re Reaper's history with with cases. Cases, yeah, yeah, the yeah. various cases Last, that we've done through the years. Through the years, we've done quite a lot of cases and a lot of case projects. We've got actually one of the the leading U.S. manufacturers of cases here in Texas, just about 35, 40 minutes at north of us. And so we've done various things through the years with them. There was an old project that had set around for a long time, which those of you that were here last week, we gave away. We put eight of them up for sale. And uh, we don't have a picture of those, do we? <laughs> <coughs> so. The one from last week. Uh, yeah, we turned them should off. Should have brought Sorry. a picture of it. Just to remind everybody, we used to do a case uh, with a company called Studio Two. And it was a Reaper figure carrying case. And it was you know, sort of a bulky square triangle with this uh, thing, you know, uh, uh, on your, this, whatever. You, inside of it were all these <laughs> trays of foam and you could pick and choose the trays of foam you wanted. And, uh, but you had to unzip the whole thing. It was very clunky. And so when it, they got through making it, we didn't pick it back up. But one of the things we discovered, uh, I guess about a year ago, a couple years ago, was that we could take those roundy pistol cases like we used to use and we could put those in there. And we were actually using it for storage for that purpose for a while. But then when that we made our of, square That was just sort of huh? serendipity, right? It was just sort of serendipity because we didn't plan that. It just kind of no. happened that way. Those cases it worked. Fit. Well, how, what we were using them for is like when we used to go to the shows to run uh, Reich of the Dead or any of you know the Warlord games Warlord, or anything yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'd put the figures in the cases, you drop it in, and then on top there was a gap left of about, I don't know, three or four, five inches. And then you could put more stuff in there. Actually, you could put another case sideways uh, in those smaller ones. Or we would put, you know, just it didn't matter. And then that's what we transported it. So anyway, that now, when we decided to, we had to do something, we went back to that idea. And last week, to test it out, we put eight of them together, and we put them up on the, uh, uh, the store. And they sold out like in, I don't know, 10 seconds. So that's not saying much. There were only eight of them. But what it is was that case with two of the new square things stuck inside of it. And they fit really snug and tight, and it was good. So to that end, what we did is we had designed, Ron, that's your cue. Pull it. You've got I didn't bring it with me, right? So you've got it there. Yes. It is right here. That right there. So now open that up and show them what we've done. So, yeah. So if this is a soft case. It's not a hard case. Oops. I think I and saw this movie. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. There you go. There's not, there's there not a go. severed head in there. Okay. No. Not yet. So, uh, and then the two cases come out, or can come out like that, one on top of each other, ooh. like so. There's the strap, and that's the, the strap. strap. Yeah. And then we uh, went ahead and added a, uh, a little pouch area at the top to it. Which is right now just in. Well, it's got foam in there. We were playing That'd around with different ideas. But uh, uh, anyway, there's a pouch area. The only thing that we're at that's missing is on the outside. There is a pouch there to be able to put a business card in or something for your name and address. And then there'll be an embroidered uh, the the Reaper the Reaper word the Reaper logo will be on there in red. And uh, so this is what we came up with as a as our version. What we call just the Reaper Keeper. And this will actually be released as a product line or part of the product. So. But because of this, we make those cases here in the U.S., and then the factories up the road, this allowed us to really condense and make it very doable, our work schedule, uh, to be able to make the deadline for this. So that's what happened. That's the end result of this. I wish we'd kept photos of the other ones so they could see the origins of it. So there you go. Yeah. So, so it's, it's uh, very, very similar to the uh, Studio 2 case is, uh, in size and design. It's a soft case. It zips. Mm -hmm. um, so the design is is actually uh, kind of um, reminiscent of some of the other previous cases that we've had in the past. The old army transport case we used to used to use. Um, and we actually have a lot of these projects around. In fact, too, well, no, it's not near. It's in the conference room. That's right. We designed an actual gamer's backpack, and we still have the prototype of it down there. Mm -hmm. It just mm -hmm. some of these things just never hit the light of day. So. Yeah. And so this has got a little. Velcro area. Um, so this is a prototype, so it's not. It's got the strap, the, the things on the side for the straps, the shoulder strap. And so, what is the plan for this? Well, the plan is, is since we promised everybody, is that we're going to do 
this production run and for a special introductory price or whatever. I hate that in those kind of campy terms, but we will list it in there on where you just saw the bundles as a separate item. It will not be part. We'd originally promised to make it part of a bundle, but because of all the timing that's going on here, it was easier just to undock it and make it its own item. Uh, and we'll put it in there we and you'll be able to pick it up. Right. Yeah, but we'll show we up there and it'll obviously show up in the Reaper, the regular Reaper store uh, as well when that time comes and stay. But it's going to be an in stock from here on product that we're, you know, finished developing for that. Right. So, so yeah, the hobby box was originally, we would, we had hoped to have this as actually part of the hobby box. Um, yeah. And so when you like, and later on, when this becomes a regular item on ReaperMini.com, when you purchase this, it'll come with the two, the two, uh, the two uh, figure cases inside, a, a paint case, right? One is that got big foam for paint, and mm -hmm. then yes, then the foam for figures, yes. But it's but, not, well, it's not the, right. It's the corrugated or the um, eggshell convoluted, eggshell. yeah, eggshell, yeah. yeah the convoluted. And we like yeah. we like that personally, and then as well as around the factory. Because the plug foam, while it's really cool, the instant I pluck it for a miniature, boy, I, I better that's some of the things that were going in there. It's not very flexible. I can't make it smaller, later, or larger. So we've always done the convoluted foam, and that'll be what's in there for that case. And yeah. then you'll also be able to buy cases empty or foam itself or whatever you want to do to mix and match. If you want to carry double paint or you want to carry double figures, whatever you want to do. All that stuff will be available as well. So there you and go. Conven and conveniently in the... Uh, the uh the uh, hobby box, there is a Velcro patch included with the hobby box, which happens to conveniently just sort of stick right. on the Velcro here. So, like I said, we've been, this has been going on for a while. It's not like we sort of just, you know. Well, these are these things that I can't talk about when I when you asked me what I did this week. Yeah, because we've got to <laughs> save them for later. Right. And so, again, uh, we will be adding this to the ReaperCon Live store pre-order site when we have more information as far as when it's going to ship and things like that so we don't have a date yet uh, but when you order this we will get it shipped out and everything like that too um, there are a few more wrinkles we're going to talk about but we can't talk about it tonight just sort of hang in there uh, be patient with us and uh, we'll let you know more about this as soon as we know so um, all right so Continue yours. Like he said, we got to do it all, all right. in one segment. Okay. All right. So here's some, uh, John, do you want to, I'll just read them, John, since I got them printed out right here. Uh, and the, John, like I said, has been on social media compiling all these questions. We're going to go through some of these real quick. Would the class kits be offered in the ReaperCon store or the Reaper Mini store? And would shipping be combined with the class kits and con boxes if ordered together? The answer is class supplies will only be offered on ReaperMini.com. Okay, so they're not going to be part of the Reaper Live uh, website. We are not combining shipping with pre-order ReaperCon boxes. It's just the two systems are separate. They don't they don't cross. So if the the hope is that when we start putting up classes, then the submission link is live. Is that right, John? Oh, for for what? Else gets to talk. <laughs> the classes. Oh yes, classes submissions are up on ReaperCon Live. I'll put the link in chat. So what we'd like to do is when the classes go up, when you when an instructor lists the items that he wants that, that he or she's going to use in their class, uh, the idea is that that these would be hyperlinked so that you can click on it. It would take you to the Reaper Mini site uh, where you can actually purchase that item if you want to. You don't have to purchase class uh, kit or class supplies to take a class uh, on Reaper uh, at ReaperCon live this year. It's just something there. It's a convenience. If you want to paint with the same paint or the same mini that the instructor is using, it's just going to be a convenient way for you to order this kind of stuff. Um, but as far as shipping, can, at the same time, no, they won't, we won't combine them together. So here's the big question. Are these limited? Is there a pre-order cutoff date? So the answer is the, these boxes are especially made for ReaperCon, so supplies are limited. However, we'll be taking pre-orders on these items until August 1st, 2020. Now, that could change, but that's the date we have right now. After that, all remaining swag box, Brian box, and hobby box inventory will be sold on ReaperMini.com until they are sold out. Specialty items such as cups, patches, stickers, etc., will be sold separately on ReaperMini.com while supplies last. Miniatures and paints will be added to the Reaper catalog as ongoing items. We're going to ship these also first come, first serve. So if you ordered, if you pre-ordered these. Uh, you'll get your you're gonna get yours first so if you wait and buy them on reapermini.com which you can do absolutely 
it just means you'll get yours after one else has got their pre-orders. Um, we are going to pre-order uh, this the, the amount that we have that are people are going to pre-order, but we are ordering an, an additional number on top of that to cover all uh, what we think uh, orders are going to be when people start ordering these on ReaperMini.com. Because we always Do not have freak them out. in stock. Yeah, we always yeah. have them in stock for after the show. You know, but that's just a number we'll have to pull out yeah. of our. Don't pack. freak. Yeah, don't freak out. If you if you can't pre-order right now, don't worry about it. Uh, we're going to order enough so that when you when you order on ReaperMini.com when they're available, you should be just able to talk get it. over them, John. Shouldn't be a big deal. Sorry, John. <laughs> no, he's saying what I was going to say. So okay, okay, and again, first come, uh, first uh, serve on the shipping. Okay. Are there pictures of the items in each box? We just went over those. We're updating those as soon as we can. Every time we, we get an image, we try to get it uploaded onto the uh, store. There you go. Uh, someone asked about the the Reaper utility, or the Reaper cleaning utility pod rinse cup. We talked about that. Um, the same thing. It's just different pictures. Uh, we just thought it was cute and funny from a different a previous show. Is there any way to get the miniatures and paint separately? Again, miniatures and paints will be added to the Reaper catalog as ongoing items. What about the patch, et cetera? Will it only be available in the hobby box? Specialty items such as cups, patches, stickers will be sold separately on ReaperMini.com while supplies last. I assure you, we're going to have plenty for you guys to, to have. Um, it, for us to limit an item means that we just, we're just limiting uh, sales. We're limiting all kinds of things, and we're just making our customers angry. So don't, we don't want to limit anything. We want people to have as much time uh, to get these as possible. Um, can I use my Reaper Miniatures gift certificates to purchase a swag box or other boxes? Yes, of course. But you'll have to wait until these items go on sale on ReaperMini.com. So you can't order them through the, the pre-order site. So the people out there who have been saving their gift certificates to buy something big, just wait another just wait another little, little longer, six weeks or two months or whatever, um, maybe sooner, who knows. And just order on ReaperMini when, when you get a chance. We're not going to sell out before you guys get a chance to order these on ReaperMini.com. I promise. Um, what will the colors and the paint sets look like? Well, we put the swatches up on the store. Go take a look at those. Um, I know that if that if you order these through Reaper, I'm sorry. I know that you are able to order these through ReaperCon and after. But if you pre-order early enough, will you receive the kit by the con? The answer is we are planning on shipping out all pre-orders early enough so that you will have these. You will have your order by ReaperCon. However, you will still be able to enjoy ReaperCon without having any of these items. These swag items are great, but they're not necessary to enjoy ReaperCon. Okay, so uh, if you don't get yours, or if it gets lost in the mail, whatever, don't freak out. You're gonna have a good time at ReaperCon. We've got some great stuff lined up, a lot of fun for you guys to do. The stuff in the boxes is not necessary for you to enjoy ReaperCon. Um, will there be a chance to purchase additional items? I get another set of paints. Again, specialty items are gonna be sold while supplies last. When will the pre-order transition to the main Reaper Mini website occur? As soon as we begin shipping pre-orders, we will transfer all remaining swag box, Brian box, and hobby box inventory to ReaperMini.com. Date to be announced. Almost done. Will I be charged? Yes, you'll be charged as soon as you make your order. Uh, your card's charged, and we ship later. When does the rest of the world get pre to pre-order the swag boxes? Okay, so John, uh, you uh, dug this up today. As of 625 today, only the USA and Canada can pre-order these items. We're planning on the rest of the world going live and being able to pre-order these by next week. If anything changes, we will update all our socials. So, Kit's working on that now. So, that you, if you live, you know, in Australia or, or England and France, uh, you should be able to pre-order these next week. That's our hope. Uh, that's Kit's work. What Kit's working on. And when can I use the gift certificates inside the Brian box and inside the hobby box? As soon as your boxes are delivered, you may redeem those gift, those gift certificates for anything on ReaperMini.com, including paints, minis or additional ReaperCon boxes or items. Because you remember, if you order a Brian box, I think it's $15, and if you get a hobby box, it's $25 in gift certificates. So you'll have, if you get the mega bundle, you'll have $40 in stuff to purchase. Um, so you can order extra figures, extra paints, um, almost an extra swag bag, so lots of stuff there. So yeah, a lot of information, and I know we're, we've, we've been sort of, sort of working together all day, all week, sort of trying to get all this information together for you guys. And I know Not it's me. a lot to keep up with. Except for Dave. Dave's got it all. <clears throat> but uh, we're going to try to get all this compiled. John's going to put it on social media. Justin's going to do videos, um, the forums. I know there's a lot of people in the forums who can't get over here to Twitch. They, they don't do a lot of social media stuff, so we'll put it on our forums as well. So we thank you. Thank everybody for y'all's patience while we're going through all this. I know it's kind of confusing because it's a new thing. But uh, we know all you guys are going to be super happy with all your swag stuff. 
going to be super happy with Rupercon this year, and we're excited to get to it. Okay, yes, Ed, in the center. How did you get Dave to sign off on putting all this stuff in there? <clears throat> yeah, well, get new pencils out of him. <laughs> well, cherry sours. That's all I got to say. Oh, cherry okay. sours. Okay. You tricked him. Smoke and mirrors. <laughs> Just hey, get the Ron. Good cherry sours. Yes, Dave. Ron. We yes. had a request for a Sarbanes Axley, uh, Oxley uh, miniature. Do you think you can a do what? that one? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, 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 no. Just, just, just ignore him. <laughs> uh, what is that? <laughs> oh, it's, it's uh, accounting law. The, it was new accounting <laughs> law that the banks have to follow after the big financial fallout of 2009. Uh, I told you to What's ignore What's it called again? <laughs> Sarbanes Sarbane Oxley. I like that name. We're going to use that. That sounds great. It's actually <laughs> so, the last name of the two people that came up. With yeah, that came with cool. the law. Yeah, <laughs> I think we should name a figure after that. Sarbanes Oxley sounds there like you a bad go. guy. There sounds you like go. Like I mean, CPAs will be buying it. Yeah, I like that. Sarbanes Oxley. All right, very cool. All right. Um, uh, what else, guys? What else is going on? Does Does that conclude? Actually, that, real, real quick, for my uh, my purposes later, does that conclude the Repercon segment? Unless yeah. you guys have something else you want to bring up and talk about, real quick. Um. Uh. So, you said that the patches and all the all the stickers and everything like that are while last once they get switched over to ReaperMini.com uh, individual. Because if you want to buy a patch individually and things like that. Yeah, I know that Dave, uh, you've been kind of hot on patches for for a while now, yeah. and that uh, mm -hmm. having patches is the thing that we want to do as as regular ongoing items. Um, yes. I think a Reapercon patch is something that I don't think we're ever going to sell out of, um, uh, because we want to like the Re the Reapercon logo is our logo. It's going to stay that way for a long time, so that'll be an ongoing thing we'll always have. Uh, the Reaper Mini as a patch, or Reaper Mini logo as a patch, uh, plus I imagine a Reaper Live patch. Um, yeah, we're gonna have stuff like this ongoing for a long time. And a, a um, Reaper Land uh, patch. There. A Reaper, of yeah. course, Reaper Land. Uh, but also, uh, this includes this includes the resin models as well, correct? Now the resin models are a little last. bit. They're they are definitely wall supplies. That's because they're. Uh, it's a lot of work uh, for for uh, trench works to do this, and there's always new things to do. So um, those will probably be a lot more limited than anything else because they just they're a lot more difficult to make. You know, it's not just push a button and they make them. Um, it's a lot more work, and they're they're very expensive to produce as well. So uh, get those while you can, because I don't see us having a, a huge supply of those. There'll be plenty to get while you, you know, for a while, but um, I yes. wouldn't expect to have those. So you might for a long time. You might want to pre-order if you want to for sure know that you're going to get a resin model uh, that comes in these specific boxes. So. Yeah. And, you know, uh, some people have brought up on the forums and whatnot that, you know, well, why – if I order now, I can't get my free figure of the month. Well, that's true. Um, it just means you're going to get your stuff sooner. Now, if you want to wait and order on ReaperMania.com and, and use that your, – your free figure of the month credit to get your free figures, by all means, go ahead and do that. But, unfortunately, you can't, you can't get your free figures of the month ordering – pre-ordering through the ReaperCon website. Um, the only difference is some people are going to have their stuff very early, like August, and you'll just be waiting until September to get your stuff. Um, but by all means, if you want to wait and save that and use your free figure credit, go for it and do it. Um, I don't know what the free figures for September are going to be yet, but um, yeah, go ahead and and and, uh, and do that. You're absolutely that's it's a great idea. If people want to do that. Um, if it's a big deal, you should go ahead and do that. Anything else as far as Reaper is concerned? Anybody else um, any questions, Sadie? Justin, did you get my picture email? I I did. Does it look good? Uh it looks as good as a picture could look. I made a I made swatches on a tile of all the paints. We don't have to show it though, because we have pretend swatches from the computer. Pretend swatches? Can, Are you talking about online? You can show real swatches. Mm-hmm. Okay, right. and because, it's not going to be the Brian Wynn colors. I uh, haven't swatched those yet. This is the uh, Master or the uh, Reapercon uh, commemorative mm -hmm. colors. Let's commemorative see colors. Okay. Yeah, let's see it. So, we have um, ghostly moss, corporeal shadow, gothic crimson. Is this left to right? Left, there, Sadie? Yeah, left to right. Yeah, left to right. Um, okay. Then Ashen Rose, 
uh, Dead Rose, Briar Rose, Big Top Red, Clockwork Brass, Reptilian Green, Desert Sky, Rattlesnake Leather, Aquamarine. Those are the uh, ReaperCon commemorative paints. Then under that, we have the Reaper Live Triad. I can tell this isn't like super true, um, true to life because um, over on the right, it's Drownable Pink, but it's Rose Gold, Sophie Silver, and Drownable Pink. So you can't see the metallic. Um, my, my plan was to show you guys, but the white balance was off. So, um, and then on the bottom, we have the oh, Powder Burn brown, the pirate gold, and clouded sea. Cool. So very that's pretty. Cool. <clears throat> and yeah, then, um, nice. yeah, so that's commemorative hey, Rupercon set. Sadie, wow. how, did you, how would you describe that uh, uh, pirate gold? Mm, I'm trying to remember. Um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, that one has, I'm looking at it. It's pretty bright, and I think it's got a little bit of green in it. It looks a little green oh. from here. Yeah, it's yeah. a little green, and it's pretty like it's pretty bright. Um, and then the clockwork brass, of course, is like darker and kind of green. Mm -hmm. Cool. But a it's lot of pretty. people are They're hyped for really pretty. Sleep. Good. Good. Yeah, it's gonna be a cool little set. It's gonna be a cool little set. Gothic crimson as well. That's really popular. I like gothic crimson. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, good stuff. Yeah, the paint department's been pretty, pretty busy lately. It looks like it's going to continue to be that way for a while. Forever. I made a list of, of all the promotional stuff that's going to come out um, in the next year. We're going to be busy for a long time. A long time. Yeah. Good. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Okay, cool. Hey, Ed, yes, you sir. mentioned at the beginning of the show that you've got an airbrush update. Yes, I do. Wait, wait, all right, wait for that. Oh. What? Chat, I need your help real quick. Uh, can you give me oh, yeah. a number between zero and three? Um, just just give me a random number between zero and three, chat. I need your help real quick. And then, Ed, you can, you can go ahead. Oh, okay. So, anyway, I talked to uh, Ken up at Badger today. Uh, they had uh, just received back from the engraver the bodies. So he said that uh, they should be able to ship the everything, the order, July 15th the, out of their factory. That was his pretty firm date. Now, with the times we're living in, that could obviously change a little, which would mean it would take us a week or two to process in. So I would look at a release of the airbrush second week of August right now is where I would call it, which is a lot earlier than we were originally talking about. We were talking about fall release. Um, so we'll probably have something in there for the hardcore, well, well a pre-release as we would call it, a promotional release. So uh, second week in August. So that's going to be good. Uh, there'll still be the two sets we talked about. Uh, they're the skinny one, which is just the airbrush. You know, you've picked your, your cup size. And then uh, and that's all that's in there. The, the assumption being you've already got everything you need. And then what we call the fat set, which at a minimum will have the quick disconnect and a hose and then any other supplies we want to put in there to help you get started with it. The fat set will go in a plastic case for sure. I don't know how we're doing. He's got something he's going to send me as a sample that would work for the skinny. So there's your airbrush. It's, we are that much closer to the entire equation. So can't wait. How are the uh, cup sizes labeled? Are they like letters? A, B, like and C. Like cup sizes? Um, they, a, could B, be. they could be. They could be. I think you'd end up with uh, uh, a C and an, an E. That's how you would. would okay, think, good. Yeah. Not a nearly A. Sometimes no. I need a nearly A on my airbrush. Yeah. Oh. Anyway. All right. No, no, that's it. So there you go. That's 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 the wild and exciting part. We're there, basically, assuming that other weird stuff doesn't happen. I have some weird stuff. Uh, let's see. Some people before when we were trying to get herding the cats and getting everything ready and they were they were uh, talking about when we would go on. We did have some people that that gave out gift subs and I wanted to give a shout out to them. That was Valandero the Red, Panzer Lagwagon, uh, Calicus 81, uh, Lovely Yeti 312 and Eris Go 2000. Thank you so much for those gift subs. Thank you. Real quick, uh, 
I don't even know how to say it, Wayne. Last part of his name is Wayne. Uh, Reaper going to issue your own line of air paints. Not at, the, not at the time of the brush, like John said, not immediately, but yes, that is in the works. We had actually had hoped to be in development of it, but we had to send our automated machine off because it was time. It had quantitied out and been, uh, what? Oh, oh uh, I'm sorry. I did miss somebody. Melon. Sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. That's right. Okay. So anyway, that is in the long-term plan. Now, so yes, we will be addressing that. We're also going to pick up his primer uh, and start selling it just as Badger primer. We're not going to relabel it or anything in his stuff because everybody swears by it. And uh, it's really good stuff. So anyway, that was one of the questions I saw. This was uh, Daryl painted this last week before the. Uh, I'm just getting. Yeah, it's here. washing it out. Yeah, there we go. Uh, there you go. Oh, he painted yeah. this for the uh, the dragon promotion. I said, Daryl, can you have this dragon done in 24 hours? He's like, I'll try, and he did it, and it looks awesome. Beautiful. Looks fantastic. Yeah. Looks great. Yeah, he, he, Ron brought that down. I was like, oh my god, we, you know, and that was that's Daryl knocked it out of the park. Yeah, yeah, did a good job on it, and it's bones, so it's all floppy and durable. Looks good, very durable. Looks great. <laughs> Daryl did a good job on it. You'll see this probably when we release this guy uh, in bones this summer. Um, this art will be on the card that'll go in the front of the blister, so you'll be seeing this guy whenever you order this this summer. So yeah, um, <clears throat> for a lot that's uh, happened this week, it's, we sure don't have a lot to say. So it's just kind of wow. been a, a little exhausting. Well, we don't just have any building pictures. Over everybody. But they did. Uh, uh, we were over there. Obviously, we're over there just about every day. They've got the roof up, three walls full. They're about halfway down on the last wall. Uh, but the reason they haven't closed it up yet is that where some bay doors go there. So they're having to do a different approach to that. They were putting trim and gutters up today. So we're definitely getting a lot closer there. Uh, first thing that will go in that building will be the new studio. And uh, they'll start construction on that really fast. So you do already have. There we go. So you can see the outline there of that, the bay door and stuff, what we were doing with it. Courtesy of Dave, uh -huh. well before yeah. 6 o'clock. Thank you, Dave. Yes. Well, it's no fun unless you can send them to Justin at 10 minutes tell. <laughs> Is that Justin's chair? I, I try and be semi-professional. That's yes, Justin's that's, studio chair right there. That's against our code, Dave. <clears throat> Uh, cool. Look at that. It's a new building. Yeah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited what for the studio. It? That's it for that one. The last thing I have here on the docket, unless you guys have anything else extra, is the photos I had preloaded. Yeah, the new releases. Yep, the new release. So, if so you guys want to go into that. Okay. Let's take a look what so, we got here. Uh, let's see. No, hold on. Um, I was going to say, uh, a lot of people are asking, what can they expect at ReaperCon uh, this year? Uh, I'm working on a write-up right now. I, I started it a few days ago about all the activities and the things that are going to be happening. Uh, so I started writing that big list. Uh, we've been planning it for a little while now, so that's, that's what's coming up. Uh, also, don't forget that the, the quarterly paint contest, your submissions are due by tonight. Uh, I think voting should start fairly soon. It depends on how fast Matt gets it, but hopefully we can look at them tomorrow during ReaperLand. Um, and on the, the subject of sub, we're about to, uh, if we get to our 1500 subs, we're going to be doing our big giveaway. So I think we're approaching a thousand ish. So we'll be matching gift subs tomorrow. So if you want to save them for, you can do that. But just so you know, if you have Twitch prime, you can sub you can subscribe with your Twitch prime. If you have an Amazon prime account, just don't forget, it doesn't auto renew. So you have to do that yourself. So just, just so you, just so you don't forget. Twitch Prime, folks. Mm -hmm. Twitch Prime. And, and by the way, hashtag free, right? Hashtag free. Hashtag free. Okay. Get your freeze in. More information on that later. Yeah. Make sure you get your I have a in. question. Sadie. Can we look forward to our normally scheduled programming during ReaperCon? I think we had talked about that a bit. Um, the short answer to that was going to be a yes. We believe so. Um, the next question is, and I think this is probably more on me to figure out, is how we can spin it and theme it after ReaperCon while producing a show that's that's entertaining. Um, mm -hmm. Really more worried about anything we do with Ed, really, than anything else. Uh, everything hey, else will be fine. We have a big announcement regarding ReaperCon's dates. Uh, originally, ReaperCon was the 3rd through the 6th, correct? And are we going to make a big, giant announcement tonight as far as that? 
goes. Anybody Are we doing it all month? Me? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's the whole month of September. Oh, oh he's boy. back there, Sadie. <laughs> sorry, sorry, You're sorry. Off the, gas. the answer's um, up to you if you want to do it. Well, Zed's it, idea, it, it is, is concrete, it. right? What well, concrete is anything? Month? As concrete as anything virtually is, uh, sure. It looks like Ed has no idea what you're talking about. So no, I'm totally, no, I know oh, exactly. Oh, you know. So okay. Well, then, for him to go. Exactly. Yeah, then I so know. So Reapercon has been extended from the 3rd to the 7th. So instead of ending on the 6th on Sunday night, it is now going through Monday night. So we're going to give you one additional day of programming and virtual classes and entertainment and activities. So yay, everybody, for an additional free day of Reapercon fun stuff. And it's on Labor Day weekend, so you'll have that Labor Day off, so you can spend the day. You know, instead of socializing with your friends and family, you could just be online with us. So, yeah. there you go. Pog Champs in chat, right, John? You're welcome. Yeah, yeah, Pog Champs. Yeah, Pog so Jam. now ignore all of the dates that we have everywhere because now we got to go through and change them all. So, <laughs> the so don't yeah. forget about that. So, just ignore the sixth, add a plus one. It still starts <laughs> in the third, though. Yeah. Yes, so the start date this is a bonus. This is a bonus. We're working hard on Labor Day for you guys. So, just remember that. Um, so there you and go. I'm Let's taking the whole month after, off after that. Yeah, I wish. Yeah, John, where are we going together? Are we going to Cabo? Let's go to Cabo, John. Uh, we can't go anywhere right now with the current climate. That's true. No, no, no. I can take us anywhere in this VMix call, John. You just say the word. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, look, we're at the beach right now in front of a little fire. And these, yeah. John, watch out. Those embers are flying everywhere. They're going to get oh, your beard crap. and burn you. Oh, oh wrong way. <laughs> Keep Duck it yeah, the right in there. <laughs> wrong way, well, John. Cheating. He froze up, so now the embers get an advantage. So. <laughs> So, cool. Well, that's a lot of good stuff tonight. A lot of information for you, for everyone to to to, uh, to devour and digest and think about. So, um, go get your swag bags, swag boxes, swag items, and uh, have fun with that. And get ready for Reapercon. Do you, do you think, Ron? I'll put you on the spot right here, and I'm going to direct this at you. Do you think it's possible, Ron, in the coming months that maybe we do a, a giveaway to you on the channel that includes any of these boxes here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you're saying great. people should absolutely tune in more so now between now and ReaperCon <laughs> and extra chances of even winning one of these. Maybe That's even right. a mega bundle. We'll see. Well, guys. I mean, Ron, we'll I mean, Justin, it really depends on the credit limit of your credit card. I mean, we could do two. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I like how he's calling them out in front of everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, unrelated note, Ron, I need your credit card information. Um, <laughs> gotcha. I'll text it right to you. Completely unrelated. <laughs> Um, For a friend. Before we move on, can at the new release models, I also want to remind people that there are a bunch of signups on the ReaperConLive.com website where you can sign up to be a volunteer. If you want to GM a game, if you want to be a game master and go run a game, uh, if you want to teach a class, or if you know anybody that wants to teach a class, uh, these are all submission forms on ReaperConLive.com. So go ping all your friends, go tell all your streamers. Uh, there's also a panel sign up. Uh, we've had, we have a lot of cool panels that are signed up already that I'm really excited for. So if you know anybody that wants to teach a panel or, you know, just ping them and tell them, tell them to go to ReaperConLive.com and all the signups are over there. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Those, those, uh, those sign up important. is coming soon, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's not ready yet, but it's coming soon. Okay, let's yeah, look at some new releases. New release? Yeah, let's check them out. There's the first one. Okay, these are the uh, Town Guard by Bobby Jackson. They are pissed off looking, and they're not going to let you in the town. What this material is Will are they in? This, these are all Bones. These are classic Bones. Thanks, bones Ed, for classic. putting that out. Okay. Bones classic. This is Willow Green Ivy by Bobby Jackson. The witch, she's super cute. Love her. Uh, this is... This is a new version of William, Sir William the Peacemaker, Dave. Oh, mm. nice. Just have his head. So he's got some cocks on his shield. Yeah, um, looks like oh that uh, guy from what? looks like that's... that guy from uh, Mighty Python. <laughs> it's not. No, he's not Sir Robin the, the, the chicken or whatever his name was. Yeah, those are those are roosters. The those are not chickens. Those are roosters or cocks. Oh, okay. As you may want to okay. say. But there's nothing wrong with that, Justin. I Don't didn't say there the was. All I said was oh boy. That. That's what yeah. you call a rooster sometimes, a cock. And he's got cocks on his shield. Next. <laughs> and that's by Bobby Jackson, too. This is a, a Numenar winter beard by Bobby Jackson, complete with little oh. owl. I love these uh, these, wiz these wizards well, that Bobby hi. did. They are uh, 
there was an old, there was a company back in the eighties called Superior Models, and uh, they just did the best stuff. And these were inspired by the Superior Models at, uh, at that time. Ed, do you remember the guy who sculpted for Superior? You remember his name? Mm, no, I remember my nickname for him, but that was it. Oh, a nickname. Yeah, the Thorazine Cowboy. Tell us. I thought that's what it was. <laughs> okay, next, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and there's another wizard that I forget his name. Uh, I don't know. Super no, cool. No, no, it was too heavy. Yeah, too it heavy. was just That's a classic, uh, classic, I know. classic I know. fantasy oh. trope, uh, the, the pointed hat. Also by Bobby Jackson. Uh, next, another another pointy hat and wizard. I forget his name. These guys are awesome. Uh, Bobby did a great job on these guys. Yeah, I know. They look I like know. brothers. There's the town folk. Um, also by Bobby. Let's see. Yeah, Oman this... Rule and Zinfus Zadar and oh. Erica Slenderzad. That's who those guys are. The town's folk. There's the courtesan, the uh, angry village rider, and the clergyman. Who else we got here? Also by Bobby Jackson. Bobby did a lot of these. Let's see. There's the female temple. Ava Justinia, the female temple knight by guess who? Bobby Jackson. Uh, Good guess. <laughs> what do I win? Uh, a, a Reaper gift certificate, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> For $3. All right. That's there's that. And there's uh, Nemezra, the dancing girl. Again, by Bobby Jackson. Uh, okay. By Ed Pugh. Bobby by Pugh. Meadow Green. And now we're looking at the uh, Pathfinder Bones figures that came out. Uh, just uh, they they shipped last week. I think they're coming going live this Monday. This is a Nora, the uh, iconic Arcanist from Pathfinder. Let's see. Uh, this is um, the iconic. Uh, this is as as um, that's the iconic get off Estra. my yard. Estra. Yes, the iconic get the off iconic my yard. Spiritualist. He's, he's, iconic spiritualist. Iconic spiritualist. Pigeon toad. Yeah, pigeon toad. What What's cool? She's got her glasses hanging on her uh, off her uh, uh, the front of yeah. her shirt there, so she can put her spectacles on. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you damn kids. <laughs> get off my lawn. This is Erasmus, the iconic hamburger. <laughs> uh, that's spot on. He's the, the medium. Job. He's the medium. That's the iconic medium. <laughs> Or as it's the iconic medium, right? This deck of cards. Okay, this is uh, Zadim, the Zadim? iconic slayer. Hmm. Full of detail. Came well, out hey. really, really good on hey, bones, this bones model. Okay, cool. Uh, this is Rav uh, Ravani, the iconic psychic. Mm -hmm. I've seen the a designs lot of on these were all. Yeah, the, yeah. This is a, a, a this is a really good uh, figure. This sells really, really well. She's very popular. Um, well, yeah, it's a nice pose. The fact that you know, we're right being off the ground. That she's, and, yeah. Yeah. yeah, elevated. Wayne, Wayne Reynolds designed all these Pathfinder figures, and Bobby did, he sculpted them all. He did a great job translating that art um, because Wayne's stuff is super detailed. Um, this is Icon, uh, the iconic Scald. Mm -hmm. Got his horn on his back and his twin axes. Super cool. Uh, the, you can see the bones is holding a lot of that detail. This is Adwin, the Huntress. Or the hunter, I should say, the iconic hunter. The hunter um, didn't do the wolf, but there she is. Um, again, look at all the tiny details that came out on in the bones uh, plastic. Really good. Mm -hmm. Is this the new plastic, or like the the lighter this gray? This is classic bones. 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 Yeah, plastic. Mm -hmm. So yeah. this is like the the militant uh, um, Shakespeare. Hamlet. Yeah, this is Mavaro, <laughs> the, the iconic <laughs> occultist. Uh, his story is really cool. That skull is covered with uh, uh, glyphs and and, um, and symbols and things like that. And he's got a really cool backstory. But that's Mavaro, the iconic occultist. Ah, uh, let's see. This is Shardra, the iconic shaman. She's a dwarf. She's a dwarf. Excuse me, a dwarf. And she's got her little familiar on her back here. A little stone. Lizard. The iconic shaman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, I like the way the the rune showed up on her helmet. And this is Mavaro, or excuse me, Melagaster, the iconic mesmerist. Mm -hmm. So he'll hypnotize yeah. you. You just look at his little thing. He's sitting there. He's just going, 
listen to me, you'll do what I say, Dave. Deposit more money into my account. <laughs> huh? Checking. A lot of people. <laughs> a lot of people will do really cool stuff with the runes on this one. So, or the yeah. the thing, the the symbols on it. He's he's covered robes. in in detail. I mean, he's all these guys are, but all these little symbols and arcane uh, signs, really really cool. Those guys turned out so good. So yeah, those are all the new releases. Those were the um, uh, the Pathfinder figures. They go live on the the twenty ninth. And the regular Dark Heaven figures, the Wizards and the Town Guard and all those guys, those go live on July the 20th. You'll be able to get those from ReaperMania.com or to your favorite local gaming store. Please support your favorite local gaming store in such a hard time. If they're open, please go support them and buy stuff from them. Um, all right, cool. Well, that was an awesome sh show. We need to give away some gift certificates, and then mm. we're we are done. So, so, John, go ahead. So, Tonight, chat, remember when I asked you a number between 0 and 3? Uh, mm -hmm. You guys you guys helped determine what the giveaway was going to be tonight. So we're going to be doing 30 giveaways at $22.12 each. <laughs> so $22.12 each, we're going to be doing 30. So Justin's going to be queuing those That's up. That's it. I'm out of here. Uh, I quit. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Dave. Come on. <laughs> well, get your hashtag freeze in. He's got his contract. <laughs> we got like a fence while Justin gets ready for that. So we'll give give as many people as possible to get your hashtag freeze in. So, so how did that work? I, I mean, I get where you're saying at three, zero through three. And so the, okay. the first four numbers that that showed up in chat were the uh, was the amount. So one person put two, the next person put two, and then a one and a two. So that's 22, 12. Okay. So the next number was a three, then a mm -hmm. zero for 30. Yep. Mm -hmm. There you go. Oh, wow. Numerology. Numerology. <laughs> All right. Is well, that what we're going to use that every week? Uh, no. no. That was just <laughs> they're on to it now. <laughs> Give me a number between right. zero and nine. It'll be nine, nine, yeah. nine, nine, nine. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Justin, you got our winners? I do. All right. Let her rip whenever you're ready. All righty. We got a bunch of names to get through here. So, Oh, John, okay. I'm going to need you to uh, text me. Dave, say ba that, barbecue. Uh, that amount again so I can remember. Barbecue? Okay. There you go. Somebody just being good. Our first. I'll show you guys the new figure. Our first winner is. Oh. oh I'm gonna drag this over because it's easier to read. Um, our first winner is F S H Schmo. Schmo. Okay. That's a new one. Uh, Al Bevison. Hey. Al Bevison. Screaming, screaming biscuit. Um, Druidic monk. Uh, big bad booty man. Uh, Rodriguez, or Rogue Dress, not Rodriguez, Rogue Dress. Uh, Papa Bear, Papa Bear O One or Papa Bear O One, <clears throat> one of the two. Uh, Paul John's Life, Gypsy Jan, Lord Dave Zero Three One Two. Good name. And, and Sutter, <laughs> I get I get this name wrong every time, even though uh, I believe they they tell me how to say it. It's in Sutter, in Sutter, the oceans. Eleven ninety three, completely botched it again. Uh, Kate five one six two. Dragonheart three oh five. Sadie Taru, there you go, Sadie. Yeah. Ashley the monk. Vecnan. Topsicle. Taoist Dave. That's two Daves. Hey, uh, that's a good name. Striding Dave Aragorn. Knight. Yeah. Samurai Jack three two five. I love that show. Chef of That's Love, 78. <clears throat> Donna Land, 9. Lieutenant Floby. One Eye Sin. On the Road to Tiamat. Congratulations, Margaret. Core Mechanical. Smash Zero. James Riav. Yanarl. And last but not least, Freestyle HQ. Those are our 30 mm. winners. Well, congratulations, everybody. Congratulations, yeah. Okay, I have a quick question I saw in chat earlier for uh, Ed and Ron. Help me with this one. What was the name of the sculptor of the first figures that we released as Reaper Miniatures? Would that be Max Carr? Was that you, Ed? Which one? Who did that? Oh, it would have been... Are you talking a figure done that we commissioned and got or when we were recycling like old stuff? There's, they there's just two asked, who, 
Yeah. He just asks which which. If it's the old heritage program. stuff, it had been Steve Bissett and Max Carr. Those are the first heritage ones. If it was something we commissioned, it would be the Mouselings or that period of time with Terry Williams is his name. No. Okay. And, there you go. There you go. There you go. Uh, you someone just met, someone had just actually paint. Yeah. Uh, MG photo. I just repainted an old Max Car mini from Heritage. Yeah. <laughs> good stuff. Yeah. Good stuff. Good, good it stuff. is. It's it's. That's yeah. what. It's what we played D and D with. It was good stuff. Yes. Wow. Uh, all winners need to email giveaways at reapermini.com. I have the spam in chat. Uh, you need to put the episode that you won on. So Reaper Live episode number X, 88. whatever this episode is. 88? 88. Mm -hmm. And then the amount that you won. So 2212. And you need to include what you want that uh, amount to be in. Either USD, uh, British pounds, all that stuff. So you need to determine Bulgarian in the email. Or, or, yep. or five gum. We'll pay yeah, you gum. five gum. Yeah. Um, so there, it's in chat right there for anybody that needs it. It's it's highlighted, and spammed. Cool. And make sure to tune in to our uh, Twitch channel. Uh, we have Ann Monday through Friday doing the Reaper Toolbox. Pro tips at 11:30 every day. Uh, Miniature Mondays on Monday. Crow's Nest on Tuesday. Planning Platinum Reaper Live on Thursday. Reaper Land on Friday. And the Bones Live Five Live Update and Reaper Errant every other Friday. So make sure to uh, Dan, stay tuned. Oh, yeah. Smoothly. Yeah. It's well like done, you Rob. had a cheat sheet up. It's almost like I was reading it. <laughs> <laughs> almost like you helped make the graphic. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. So there you go. And also, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. You guys know the drill. Um, all right. What a great show. Lots of information. Uh, uh, Rob, uh, but what's not yes? on this, this that you, was uh, Paint Club, John. Uh, every Sunday on the Discord from noon to question mark, uh, a lot of us get to our screens and you don't have to if you have a webcam if not you can just come in and talk you don't even have to talk uh you can just come in and text as well but it's just a lot of people hanging out uh it's been a blast so if you can to the discord uh exclamation point discord and chat um uh, from noon to four it's been a lot of fun uh the doing a lot of fun stuff we got some new bots this week uh so we've been uh, experimenting with some new bots for ReaperCon as well. Um, so we're using the Reaper Discord as kind of like guinea pigs <laughs> to test stuff for it. So thanks, guys, for helping out. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. So, yeah. But yeah, cool. Sculpt Club. Yeah, that's right. There's a lot of sculptors in there uh, and paint. So come hang out with us. All right. Very good. Well, that wraps up another Thursday show. We appreciate you guys tuning in with us, everybody. Um, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next week. And so, everyone... Anything else for you want you want to add before we say goodbye? Stay safe. Okay. Just keep your mask. Yes, please, on. please be, please be patient with us. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff going on, so please be patient. Yeah, John's going to get all this information regarding Rupercon uh, swag bags and, and stuff out on social media. Plus, you'll see a lot more information regarding the, the events of Rupercon coming up this week as well. So again, and, and I don't plan on doing shit this next week either. You guys, you guys can Good, look for you some, uh, some short, yeah. shorthand snippet videos too on YouTube and various places that explain what we talked about tonight. So, very good. All right, all right, cool. All right, all right. We'll go ahead and uh, get our raid started. We're going to be raiding C Not. Oh, yay! Oh, really? Yeah. Hell so yeah! Yes. I this is the longest person I've been sub to uh, on Twitch. C Not's one of my favorite Twitch channels. So oh, go, you guys go share the love. He's he's well, been doing some awesome that's stuff. That's behind the Reaper channel, right, John? He's number two. Yeah, uh, maybe. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but you say, John? Uh, I, I know also he's he's been painting with our Reaper paints for the past two weeks. So go go show him some love. He's awesome. He just had a kid too. So yeah. I like his picture. Yeah. It looks great. <laughs> All right, super cool. All right, well, guys. And, appreciate uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit the, uh, hit the outro here. Uh, you guys keep being awesome, and uh, you guys should hound John for making sure that uh, Twitch is his favorite, or Reaper is his favorite channel on Twitch. Uh, <laughs> make sure you spam him on Discord. He welcomes it. All right, thanks, guys. Everyone wait. Take care. Everyone wait. Next week. Have fun. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>